I used to be like this. I used to be this angry piece of shit that had no regard for any of your emotions. Whenever I argued with someone, I was right. I didn't care about you, I didn't care about what you thought. I was a certified asshole, but that's not me anymore. You probably know what I'm talking about, or you're going through this right now. You made mistakes in the past, and you were a really person, but you changed. I'm in no way defending any of my previous actions, but all I'm saying is that you are not your past. There's this growth that nobody's witness to. You don't even see the growth yourself in your day-to-day -day life until you take a step back and look at all the progress you made. The problem is, the people who are with you in that previous part of your life, they'll only see you as that person. They create this narrative in their head of who they think you are, but they don't know you. I recently made a video discussing what heartbreak feels like. As a filmmaker, my goal is to just express myself. And this can be through telling stories, sharing perspectives, and sharing ideas. I use footage which I legally own because it's from a previous short film. It had a blurred out face of someone I no longer talk to. And mind you, I'm allowed to use my own footage. There's thousands of TV shows with people with blurred out faces because the people don't want to be in it. Throughout the whole video, I never talk bad about this person. I was simply expressing what it felt like to be heartbroken. Well, someone didn't like it and they posted this. You see, the first part, I don't really care because they probably didn't even watch the video and realize there's no hate. But the second part, the second part got to me. Them emphasizing I have anger issues, I'm emotionally abusive, and I'm a piece of shit. Instead of getting angry and replying back to them furiously like I would have done years ago, I decided to ignore the hate and remind myself that you are not your past or your past mistakes. <laughs> to be straight up, I was all of those things that they said. I'm not denying any of it, but that was me years ago. I lost an entire relationship and countless friends due to the way I used to treat people. There's a little part of me who still wishes they were friends with those people, but I can't go back to the past. I can only move forward. There's a distinct difference between dwelling on the past and being stuck there versus actually realizing how shitty you are of a person, changing it, and being able to openly talk about it. The reason why I'm talking about it now is because that's not me anymore. Sometimes I look back and I see that person and I think, who was that guy? He's unrecognizable. I realized how I was treating people and actively started to fix it. It took a while and a lot of hard work, but I changed and I became a better person. There will always be people who still see you in that light. That angry, emotionally abusive piece of shit. But it doesn't matter what they think because they don't know you. Your friends, the people who stuck by you, who know you've changed, will be there no matter what. But both of these people shouldn't matter with the perspective on how you view yourself. If you know you're a good person and you know you've changed, you don't need anybody else's opinion to validate that. I got over a dozen people this past weekend either praising or hating me, but I learned to shut those voices down and actually listen to the one that matters. You are a good person and you don't need anybody else to tell you you are good because you are not your past. You are you right now. Thanks for watching. Stay on average. <laughs> <laughs>